Welcome to SOD's addition and subtraction video. In this video, we're going to be adding and subtracting SOD in different scenarios. We're going to be dealing with coefficients, dealing with variables, we're going to be breaking down irrational numbers, combining like terms, and performing other SOD operations that exist between addition and subtraction. So we're going to break the video into two. So let's take the first five exercises that you're seeing on your screen. So we start with the first one. So we have 5 root 3 plus root 3. In this instance, you'll notice we have on both sides, we have root 3, and on the other side, we have root 3. When we have root 3 standing alone, we assume outside here, we have 1. Just like when we have x, it means 1x but we don't necessarily have to write 1x. So in this case, if we are going to sum them, we are going to say 5 plus 1. That will give us 6 root 3. That is for the first exercise. The second one, we have root 2, 3 root 2, plus 4 root 3, minus 2 root 2. Carefully, you look at the question first. How many roots look alike? So the first thing we want to do, we want to arrange them so that we can minimize confusion. So we're going to say 3 root 2 minus 2 root 2 plus 4 root 3. So this really helps us to know that uh, we have done something similar to collecting the like terms. So in this case we have 3 root 2 minus 2 root 2. So we see similar irrational number. We are just going to be dealing with the numbers that are outside that irrational number. So this would be 3 minus 2 and that will give us root 2. We don't necessarily have to write the 1 outside. Since it's just root 2 we all know that it's 1 root 2. So in this case, we bring the plus 4 root 3 down. And that should be our final answer because we cannot solve this 4 root 3 further. It's as is staying on its own. So we'll go to the third example. In this case, we have root 2 plus root 32. Looking at the question in itself, we'll be wondering how do we so solving this further, we are going to break this into two. So we have root 2 plus root 32. So we ask the question, what is the factor for root 32? In order to simplify that, we can just start with a, this factor approach to really help us break it down. So we are look, we've seen what we are actually looking for. So we can say... 16 times 2. So we bring it back here. We're going to have root 2 plus 16 times 2. So this will become root 2 plus we have root 16 and then root 2. And you know what this becomes? This is root 2 and square root of 16 is 4 and then we have root 2. So if we add them together, we're going to have 5 root 2. So that should be our final answer for that. And we go on to the fourth question, where we have to break the irrational number. So we have 2 root 5 plus 3 root 20. Same thing that we did in question number 3. We're going to look at this side carefully well. How can we break this down further? So we cannot break 2 root 5 any further. So this will be 3 root 4 times 5. So this will become 2 root 5 plus 3 into root 4 and then root 5. Now you see something is coming closer now. We are going to have root 5 on both sides. So this will be 3 square root of 4 is a 2 root 5. 
So 3 times 2 will give us 6. So we have 2 root 5 plus 6 root 5. So on both sides, you notice we have similar terms or the irrational number. So here we can add the two together. 2 plus 6 will give us 8. And then that will be 8 root 5. You'll notice from the question, we can easily break down the sort value to what we can actually deal with. And lastly, let's go to question number 5. We have 2 root 27 minus 4 root 12. So, looking at question number 5, we have 2 root 27 minus 4 root 12. How do we solve this further? You recall in question number 3 and question number 4, we have to do it on one side. But in this case, we have to do it on both sides. So we look for the factor of 27, which will be 9. So we have 9 times 3. And then we look for the factor of 12 which will be 2 and 6 or 4 and 3 so we have 4 times 3 now we can come to this side and say 2 root 9 times 3 minus 4 into 4 times 3 and usually what we are looking for is a complete root and an incomplete root that will become an irrational number and we have it in this in both instances so we can now break it into two root 9 multiplied by root 3 minus 4 into root 4 multiplied by root 3 so solving this further we're going to have 2 square root of 9 is 3 multiplied by root 3 and 4 square root of 4 is 2 to square root of 3. Now solving further, we're going to remove the bracket or the parentheses. Where this 2 outside, we multiply 3 and this 4, we multiply only the number outside, not inside. So we're going to have 2 times 3, 6 root 3, minus 4 times 2, 8 root 3. So here we have a situation on our hand. We have positive 6 and negative 8. So we can go back to the video on addition and subtraction if we are struggling about on this. When we have positive, that is what we have. Negative is what we are hoeing. So in this case, we are saying we have 6, but we are hoeing 8. If we pay this 6, our debt will still remain minus 2. So in this case, our final answer will be plus 6 minus 8. It's going to give us minus 2, root 3. And this will be our final answer. So we are going to stop here for the first part of sort, addition, and subtraction. If you are benefiting from this video, please like the video and subscribe to this channel on the right-hand side button. See you in the next video.